everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a box from Tina's Enchanted Moon. I believe the theme of this box is moon magic and I can't wait to show you guys. I actually found out about uh, Tina because I follow her on her uh, YouTube channel called Enchanted Moon and she has her own shop in New Jersey I believe called T uh, Tina's This and That. And so I follow her and I found out that she does her own mystery boxes. So I hopped on and purchased one for the month of April. So I wanted to show you guys what I got in my box. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. And there's some papers on top. And then there's a bunch of goodies inside. Now this first paper here that's folded actually lists the different items that's in your box but like I always do I want to keep it a surprise I love to be surprised so I don't want to read what's included in my box but she does list the theme at the top and it's moon magic and the first thing that I notice is this pretty artwork it has the different moon phases and then it looks like you have the tree and it kind of looks like a spiral goddess in the middle of it very nice and then also she includes a moon water spell so I wonder and then how to make moon water so I wonder if there's something in here in the box that will help you make maybe some jars or something to put your moon water in so we'll take a look this is nice and I love how there's so much detail I've noticed in her previous boxes, when she prints out spells, she will also print it out with this beautiful, just designs around and all that. So I really like that because then you can include this in your book of shadows. Um, so that's, that's really nice. I love all the detail. All right, so let's see what's inside. Woo, I can't wait to open it. All right, so the first thing I notice is I have some stickers here, it looks like. The first sticker is a crescent moon with the different moon phases. Very nice. And then the second one, I don't think it's a sticker. I think it's more of like a card, but it has the moon in the middle of it. It's very beautiful. I love like how you have the universe, the, the, outer space in the background with the galaxies and everything and then on the back of it it says surrender so very nice very nice card that's beautiful so inside this beautiful blue sachet it looks like I got a selenite wand with the different moon phases on it which is super cool I'll open it up and, and show you guys. Wow. So look how beautiful this is. Very pretty. All right. And then the next thing. So it looks like I got a little planter here and inside of it, if I open up this sachet, looks like there's a bag of dirt inside and then there's a piece of paper it's blank paper so most likely you would probably write your intentions on this and then bury it in the dirt but we also got some um, seeds here as you can see now the seeds I'm gonna look at the paper because I don't really know what kind of seeds they are they kind of look like they're kind of big as you can see they kind of look like little corns like dried up corn <laughs> Um, corn kennels, whatever. So this is a moonflower spell kit. So moonflower, so it's a moonflower. 
Moonflowers are one of the most romantic plants you can grow in the garden. The large trumpet shaped flowers unfurl in the evening and stay open until the sun rises. This kit has soil, moonflower seeds, a mini flower pot, and a piece of paper to write your intention on. On the night of the new moon, light a black candle, some moon magic incense, find a quiet place and meditate on your intention. Place the soil in the pot, hold, your, hold and bless your seeds when ready to place them in the soil and add them and add some of your full moon water. Place intention under the pot when flowers start to sprout transplant it into a bigger pot or garden along with your intention. Your intention will grow with your moonflowers. Really, really awesome. I love this little little spell. So that is so cool. I've never seen a moonflower in person, so that would be really cool to grow. I can't wait um, to actually do this. That is so awesome. I really love that. All right. So let's see what else is in here. I'm so excited. So it looks like I got a necklace in this white sachet. I'll open it up. Everything is so nicely put together. <laughs> and actually, as I open these, I'm gonna read from the paper. <laughs> so here is the necklace and it has like the wood, it's on wood and it's the different moon faces on it. Very nice, I love that. So for the necklace, it says, an enchanted moon phase necklace for you to wear to remind you that you are magical during all phases of the moon. Very nice. Oh, and also about the, the stone, the uh, selenite wand. She says that it's etched with the moon phases. Selenite is mostly closely associated with the crown chakra which represents wisdom and spirituality, as well as the third eye chakra. The colorless beauty and translucent of selenite is often attributed to purity and peace. Selenite is also a great cleansing stone. Selenite's meaning is married to the ancient Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. Selene has the power to light up the night and ever-changing personality that seem to ebb and flow. So, very nice. Ah, oh, yay. It also looks like I got some tea light candles and they, um, the black ones have like this gold glitter on them. Very nice. I don't know if they have, I don't know if they have a smell to them. I kind of smell something, but I don't think it's these tea light candles. So for the tea light candles, she says that she included a sachet with four tea light candles, two new moon, which are black, and then two full moon, which are white. You can use this, these with your moonflower spell kit and when you are meditating under the full or new moon. These candles are charged and blessed with these moon energies. Very awesome. I like how this goes with the uh, moonflower kit. That way you don't have to go out and get some yourself. It's all included <laughs> and already ready to go for you. So very awesome. Next thing, it's kind of big. Okay, great. So this probably goes with my moon water spell paper. She included two glass jars. And I love, I love the little pendant that she has on here with the pinnacles but she has a full moon glass jar and then the new moon. So um, very nice so that you can collect, you can do your uh, moon water and make that in these two jars and keep them and use them for your plants or the, the moon flower plant too as well. Very nice with your different intentions. So let's see what she says about that. She said that she included two glass bottles, one new moon and one full moon, so you can make your own new and full moon waters. Also included are three enchanting book of shadow sheets, which are these here, with instructions on how to make your magical water. Very cool, I like that. 
Awesome. And then I have something that's wrapped in here. Wow, she is beautiful. Look how pretty. So she has the, she's holding the triple moon goddess and a hat and she has a tree and then she also have, has the spiral. So the spiral goddess, very awesome statue. I don't have one of these, so this is really cool. So for the statue, she said, um, this month I included a statue of the spiral moon goddess holding the triple moon, a perfect piece for your altar or sacred space. One side has the spiral and the other side has a tree. I thought since it's spring, this would be perfect. I love this. I love trees. So like painting trees or, you know, anything dealing with trees and growth and all that, it's, that's very nice. And then you can see, um, you have the, the full moon and then the crescent moons on the sides. It's really awesome. Very pretty. And there's still more guys. So she included a book, Everyday Moon Magic, and it's by Dorothy Morrison. That's the back of it. So for this, Everyday Moon Magic by Dorothy Morrison, a great read and full of spells, rituals for an abundant living. Who doesn't love a good book? Very awesome. And then it looks like we also got five incense. And they smell really good. I love the smell. So this is probably what I was smelling in, in the box whenever I opened it. So I'm like, something smells good in here. So for the incense, moon magic incense, handcrafted by Bayou Witch. Burn in your sacred space when you want to feel the energies of the moon when meditating or during a ritual or spell work. And then I think there's one more item in here. And it's wrapped. Oh my goodness. It's a moon spells journal. And it says guided rituals, reflections, and meditations. And it's by Diane Alquist, author of Moon Spells. I probably butchered her last name, but that's her la that's her name. Sorry if I butchered it. <laughs> Here's the back of it, and it's and how it feels, it's nice and soft. It's really nice. And then the inside. Very cool. Okay, so for the Moon Spells Journal with Guided Rituals, it says Reflections and Meditations by Diane, author of Moon Spells. This is so great to keep track of your moods, spells, rituals, and meditations for each mo monthly moon phase. So I noticed there is month, um, it is set up by month in here. So I'll probably start using this next year since we're already in April. Um, but yeah, super cool. It's very nice. And also the art card that we received, it's by Lilaris Cauldron on Etsy. I probably said their name wrong, but I'll show you guys what their name is. It's number 11 for the moon art card. And I'll put their information down below in case you're interested in checking out more of their artwork because it's very cool. I love this card. On the bottom of my sheet, it says, thank you all for your support. I hope the items in this box help you along your path. Many blessings to you and your families. Stay safe, Enchanted Moon. The next box is Green Witch, shipping the first week of June. And then um, she lists her website at the bottom and I'll put her information down below in case you're interested in these seasonal boxes. 
they're not every month, they're every season. So um, yeah, that's why she said the first week of June instead of May or anything like that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys.